Tony, we'll start with the um, donation to the drought relief. Can you take us through how that's come about from a foundation point of view? Well, the City Swans Foundation is very predominantly likes to support the community and it's a, a driver in, in supporting the, the Swans players in the community work that they do. And given that the drought problems that the farmers are having throughout the country, we thought it was a terrific gesture by us to kick off this start of buy a bale this week at the uh, Horse and Swans game. You've touched on it there. Can you take us a bit more through what the key priorities for the foundation are and what, what they look to do? Yeah, well, there's a number of priorities. I mean, the, the constant priority is upgraded facilities and um, equipment for the, for the playing group, and that's a constant every year that has to be upgraded. But what another main area is the Sydney Swans Academy. The funds that we, we raise goes towards talent development with the Academy boys and the Academy girls now, as well as providing funding for the players to go out in the community for primary schools, junior clubs, hospitals, charity partners, all of that. You touched on the academy there, there's been some scholarships awarded in the academy recently, can you run us through those? Yes, a number of years ago one of our loyal Swans people, Frank Burton, he passed away and left a bequest to the Sydney Swans Foundation to help with development of the young players coming through the academy program. So we established a Frank Burton scholarship program which was kicked off last year. Two under 15 boys are selected who show potential, have the criteria of being good people in the community, work hard and have a future in the AFL. Frank Burton Scholarship gives them funding for each of these boys to help develop their career.